Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best. So, guys, you know, I already said what I was not going to do over here on this channel. And I was listening to Sensibility Speaks. So, shout out to Sensibility Speaks. And I got this from her. And me, I'm a temper person. I give second chance. I forgive. But I will not forget. With that being said, she had um, an interview apparently from Martel Holt. This nigga try and try and try trying to create his image. Y'all remember when he did an interview asking for forgiveness. He apologized. He did this. He had his, his manager, Melnika, where art thou? come out and says he has multiple business he's doing so good he did a look a fake scene with um miguel wilson so guys i want to break down this interview because you know what i'm not happy about this and it's another plot for martel to try to change his image because he know it is really bad so the interview started out with martel talking about his um childhood growing up and i'm gonna insert um during 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 every every part that I, I find a problem with all right okay so listen to this it begins here in terror heights as a young boy growing up in a single parent home it was very challenging growing up poor it put us in an awkward position um, especially for me when going to school being bullied you know not being able to wear the clothes that others had on the shoes or the latest shoes i got tired of having less than so I started cutting grass, started raking leaves, so therefore I can start buying my, my own clothes. What I'm going to debunk there, shout out to um our 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 great great our our grandma, she's great, the black titanic, she be on the floor. She did an entire content, right? Shout out to um Black Titanic, she's the bomb, she be on the floor, she get the news. And she did a video about Terry Heights. And Terry Heights, to me, guys, look like any normal um, area. But it seemed as if Terry, Terry Heights wasn't the problem. It was Martel Holt and his brother. So him to say, oh, he grew up in Terry Heights, as if Terry Heights is such a bad place. Again, y'all, if you want to go check it out, go over to Black Titanic. It's a nice neighborhood, but he's using that. Let's listen to some more. Certain shoes that I never still had the best because you know each yard I probably charge about five dollars a cut in my neighborhood. When I say the cards weren't on my side, they were not on my side. I think that the bully forced me to to really like stand up even stronger, and it forced me to, to get into fights, and caused me to be angry. With that being said, I was sent to an alternative school with a six or eight year, but I stayed the entire year because of my trouble there. Do I believe in bullying? Absolutely. Do I believe people get bullied every day? Absolutely. Do I see the crime that is committed when people are being bullied? Yes, I did. But when it comes to Martel, Martel said um, he was being bullied and it got him into an alternative school, right? And when he get into that alternative school, he stayed there for a little longer due to the trouble he got in to while he was at that school not once did martel mention anything about his dad how his dad wasn't there how he might have felt that his dad was locked up for a crime a serious one like that he bypassed that and this is what i'm talking about this little thing with Mar martel right now he's not putting in if this is your story tell it and tell it all all right let's listen to some more After high school, my life began to change a lot. I finally uh, made my mind up to go to college. I received a football scholarship at Alabama and University. In my life with football on campus, it was, to me, it was pretty amazing. I would have uh, thought I was the man on campus. The guy could do no wrong. The guy that had everything that he wanted. And I think that was one of my 
problems too. It just was a, a little too arrogant to play football for four years. But my senior year, I dropped out. Here, here is another issue I found with Martell and this lie. Martell said he went to Alabama A&M and that he dropped out. Martell never say why he dropped out. Never mentioned anything about the ATM Wayne Teeth. Never mentioned oh he was in a, a, a scam while he claimed he was a security or working security at the prison. Yeah, were you right about arrogance? Yeah, you were right because even Mama Van called you out and said, you know, I don't remember if it was season, season it was either season three where this fool was being very cocky, and I guess during the time he was he was having that affair with the co coast law, make thinking it, that he the man. Yeah, Mama Van called him out. So let me let you guys hear more. I dropped out. What really? made me i would say drop out was the passing of my grandmother who was very influential in my life who kind of helped mold who i was as well over the years after i dropped out of college i went straight into the mortgage industry which only lasted me about like, uh, a year and a half after that i became a detention anybody who has a grandma know how much we love our grandma we won't we, won't, we don't want to do anything to upset our grandma so Martel to keep using his grandmother as his crutch to say she mold you. Sir, I don't want to be disrespectful. But how she mold you and you turned out like this. How she mold you and you come out treating your ex-wife like the way you did. Like she's your enemy after all she did for you. But you know what? You called it. You said when people don't do what you ask them to do, you get mad and you get spiteful and vindictive officer for the Madison County Sheriff's Department where it was more of me interacting with um, inmates and actually it was like a lot of people that I knew back from Terry Heights where I grew up from which was like more of a, a damper on things because here I am trying to tell all these guys what to do and how to do when to do when to wake up when they can eat and these are people that I not only went to school with but these are some of the people that I played with in the community, I lost my job. Martel is supposedly to be telling his story, right? And Martel never once say the reason why he lost his job at Terry Heights. Martel never once say that while he was in college, it was because of Mel why he completed, why he, when he went back, he completed it. And Mel did it for him all the way. Because I believe Mel did your homework. I believe Mel did your papers. And all you did had to submit it. I believe Mel did it all. I believe it. So listen to him now talking about being fired from Terry Heights and where he at. So let me post uh, a little bit of things that I see officer. happening. Mel doing and my life seemed it was kids. over at that point. I was at my lowest point of life. To me, it was like I lost everything. My car, my home, furniture. I moved back in with my mom. Friends, they turned. Won't be the first time you move back home with your mama. Because now you. <laughs> I guess you didn't take life's lessons and apply it. Because if you did, if you lost everything like you said you did, and stop putting the place Terry Heights as a bad place. We saw the pictures. Y'all go over to Black Titanic. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Martell was the insect in hand his family in that neighborhood. And it back on me. Fem oh, wait. And if you did lose everything, family, friends, you, that's why you try so hard to hold on to the friends you have. Because you, you, you don't have no luck keeping no... F I think Martell is lying. Martell said he got back into college. Forgot to mention that Mel helped him. Mel paid his tuition for the next two years. Got back into college. He never once say that, or from we've been talking to him or since we've known him, that he was bullied by teachers or anyone. Well, no, he did speak of the bullying, but he never said anyone um, let him feel out of place like he didn't belong. Now he's telling lies on the teachers and students. I'll believe you, Martel. I will never believe you. But I made it up in my 
my mind that I was going to finish school. And this is where I met my lovely wife, Melody. So I finished. He forgot to mention that Mel paid for it. He didn't say anything about so that, y'all. I finished college and now I became a teacher. But all along, I, I was always an entrepreneur. My principal came into my classroom, gave me an ultimatum. and said, Martell, now you own your phone quite too much conducting business. But you are doing a great job teaching these kids. So that afternoon, I went to his office and I told him that I was going to resign. Now... I have unlimited amount of time and efforts that I can put into me, my business. I went from twenty some thousand dollars with my business to over six figures, which is about one hundred and twenty some thousand dollars. I guess Mel was still not in the picture because you forgot to. I understand y'all, and don't come for me. I understand that he's trying to be rebuild himself, but he making it look like he did all of this by himself. Mel was never in sight. When Mel literally, and I remember in one of her posts when they were having that argument online, and she was like, she can let people know, Negro, you wasn't doing anything. And if you, you over here talking all this and you can't even pass an open book test, trying to get every, anybody to do it for you, boy, bye. Um, in one year, I was facing more opportunities that will give me a even better lifestyle. So we ventured off into something that you call property preservation, dealing with foreclosed properties. Our business grew. One thing I would say is word of mouth because of the quality that we was giving to our customers over the years. And also, I would take it back to when we were, you know, cutting up flowers and handing flowers out to, to customers trying to gain their business. One of my fraternity brothers was telling me about his mom doing what you call property preservation, which is preserving foreclosed properties um, for different banks. His mom was doing this in Texas, and he knew that we cut grass. So he was like, you should give my mom a call. So not only did we, were we cutting grass at these properties, but we were changing locks. We were cleaning. We were doing what you call like an initial secure. So we went from just cutting grass now to actually working on these properties um, for HUD and for Bank of America and Chase Bank and people like that. I would say some of the keys to our success it was really simple. It was dedication, hard work, and having that willingness to not give up when things get a little difficult. My wife had to encourage me to continue on when we were dealing with these houses because it seemed as if the money I was making off of the, my landscaping business almost seemed like we were losing money over on the property preservation side. So, but Melody, she, she kept saying that it was, it was gonna get better. Millions of dollars later, it has gotten better. Earlier on, God was really trying to teach me and, and mold me for the moments that I'm living in now. Mm -hmm. It prepared me for being able to make the type of money I make, uh, be around the people that I'm around, shake the hands that I shake, and still... Just basically the ending of it, talking about you shake the hands you shake, you walk in life, you keep people on your side. Negro... I don't care what you want to do, what you want to say. The fact that you fumbled the bag with your ex-wife. The fact that you knew that you all was making millions. The fact that Ariane knew you guys were big in Huntsville and helped you ruin your home. I don't want to hear it. So miss me with all of that. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. I couldn't care less what Martel does. Bye.